I don't care, Lord. I wait till I you. I can't do nothing. I wait till I you. I don't care, Lord. I wait till I you. I can't do nothing. I wait till I you. I say I don't care, Lord. I wait till I you. I can't do nothing. I wait till I you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. My name is Sister Angel, and this morning my topic is A fool takes no pleasure in understanding, but only in expressing his opinion. I just have, I don't know, I just want to be smiley this morning, so. But my topic, the scripture that corresponds with it is Proverbs chapter 18 verse 2 and that states a fool has no delight in understanding but that his heart may discover itself first we're going to start off sorry about my hair first we're going to start off with what is a fool i don't know let's figure it out a fool is someone who refuses to listen to wisdom or learn from discipline and fools are very one-sided, meaning that their opinion is the only thing that matters. According to the Bible, a fool starts fights, a fool is easily upset, a fool believes everything he, he reads, a fool loves to talk but hates to listen, and so on. That's my first bullet point. My second bullet point is why should we why should we as children of God be wise and not be foolish? I don't know. Let's see what I wrote. In order to know God's will, we must be wise and not be foolish, for a foolish person lacks knowledge and wisdom and understanding. Being foolish only brings pleasure to oneself and not to God. And we are only here for God's pleasure, not others. My third bullet point is foolishness is contagious. Meaning, bad company does indeed corrupt good morals, which 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 33 talks about. And those that spend too much time with fools will begin to accept the foolishness. I think with basically my third bullet point is basically saying like you know if someone keeps doing something in front of you eventually you're gonna want to try it out or eventually you're gonna be like well if they could do it I could do it too and you know God always forgives but that's kind of taking advantage amen <laughs> my fourth bullet point says that fools are wasteful and frivolous in Proverbs chapter 21, verse 20, it says, There is treasure to be desired and oil in the dwelling of the wise, but a foolish man spendeth it up. I think the scripture means that a wise person saves up their resources in case of emergency, but a fool spends everything without thinking ahead and living only for the moment, which is basically you have to look out for the future is what a wise person does so if you get six loaves of bread you don't just eat all you eat little by little and you have to save it because you never know where you might get that amount again my fifth bullet point says that the ultimate form of foolishness is a person who thinks that he or she is smarter and wiser than god in other words proverbs <coughs> Chapter 26, verse 12 says, Seest thou a man wise in his own conceit? There is more hope of a fool than of him. So, a person who is naive, untaught, young, or inexperienced has more of a likelihood of coming around to the truth than a person who thinks that he knows it all and has it all figured out. And God does not like people who think they know it all. Amen. <laughs> And then, in conclusion, us as children of God and followers of Christ should be wise and not foolish because we have an effect on people and we are trying to win wise souls for the kingdom of God. I also want to warn you all to not be foolish and to listen to understand instead of speaking to be understood.
I'm saying that one more time. Listen to understand instead of speaking to be understood. Lastly, I'm going to encourage you all to ask God to help you not hang with foolish people because bad company corrupts good character and it can cause you to not go to heaven and we don't want that. So to end off, I'm just going to say a quick prayer. I tell you my wise God, God, I want to thank you for waking us up this morning. God, I want to thank you for giving us another chance at life, Heavenly Father, God. God, I just pray that the other person who's watching this video, I pray that they receive the message, Heavenly Father, God, and that it, you massage it into their heart, Heavenly Father, God, and they continue to think about it, Heavenly Father, God. God, I pray that they don't hang around foolish people, Heavenly Father, God, but they be a wise person, they be a leader, leader, a leader, and not a follower, follower, God. God, I also pray that the person be wise instead of being foolish and remember that they have an effect on people and still continue to try and win souls for your kingdom, God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Bye.